the Raging Rob here. So, I didn't get any videos, but if you check me out on Facebook and Twitter, I got some pics. So I went to the Nikki Haley rally here in Grand Rapids. Here in downtown Grand Rapids, yeah. Oh, downtown Grand Rapids. It's a beautiful day out today. So anyway, I'm in downtown Grand Rapids right now. That was a weak rally. I, I wouldn't even say that was a rally. That was like a... I don't know what the hell that was. She was on stage and off stage before I could even blink. I mean, it was supposed to start at 12.30. Oh, it's going to go a couple hours. She didn't get on stage till almost 1 o'clock. Okay. She was off the stage by 1.32. This was a half an hour of, well, Donald Trump this, and Donald Trump that, and Donald Trump this, and Donald Trump that. I don't know how many times she said Donald Trump. She said Donald Trump more times than she said, she said Joe Biden. Honest to God. Honest to God. Didn't touch anything on the Second Amendment. Didn't touch anything on the J6 patriots that are wrongfully detained, you know, against the Fourth Amendment. Due process. Didn't touch anything about election fraud or election integrity it was basically the vets which you know okay the VA vets my husband was a military vet you know yeah she cheated on him anyway and she didn't I didn't, she didn't touch anything about health care the VA health care that's about it there was maybe 150 people so before I went into the hotel I decided, well, I'm going to walk around the hotel, see what's going on. One Grand Rapids squad car on the side street, two black SUVs. Somebody was in the driver's seat of one of the SUVs. On the other, across the street, there was two guys. I think they were feds. They were, they were feds. I could just tell. The way they were moving and looking around, they, they were feds. Dressed in plain clothes. I get in the hotel. I, I expected a line. You know, I'm like, I expected a long line. Okay. Where's all your supporters at? 150 people in the room, maybe. It might not have been 100. It was like a room, it was like a ballroom where, you know, they have wedding receptions and, you know, shit like that. So anyway, open the doors, go down a hallway. There was barely anybody in the hallway. There was like two other people in front of me. No secret service at all. No metal detectors. No sniffing dogs. You know. Nothing. The, you would think for a presidential candidate, there would be secret service. You know, bomb sniffing dogs. You know, drug sniffing dogs. Fentanyl sniffing dogs. Whatever. Sniffing dogs. You know, German shepherds. Dobermans. Whatever they use. You know, you'd think there would be heavy police presence. For a presidential candidate, this was like, I'm thinking, what the hell? Where's the rally? This hotel was bigger than a freaking castle. I mean, no signs pointing to where the rally was. I just finally went into the main, I found the main lobby going down a couple of hallways. And I seen a Nikki Haley sign by the stairs and there was two, one fine looking female and a fine looking gentleman. Showed him my e-ticket. Up to the second story. Get up to the second story. There's one desk for... I, I don't know. I think they had a petition going. I think they had... Oh, I want a yard sign. want a sign for the, you know... Yo, oh, Nikki Haley. And, you know, I'm like... No, it's okay. So, I get in there. One to 150 people. Security was very weak. I mean, they had a couple security guys walking around. It didn't even look like they had a gun on them. This was the most boring rally I've probably ever been to. This was weak. And it was just a Donald Trump bashing rant. Donald Trump this. Donald Trump that. Donald Trump this. Donald Trump. I'll just stick a Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. I'm like, oh my God, shut up about Donald Trump. 
It's, you know, have a nice day. And then before, you know, she didn't even shake any hands. And she was off stage and gone. I'm like, that's it? 30 minutes? 32 minutes, maybe? People are going to vote for her? Really? Her numbers were way off. Her poll numbers were way off. The only way she's going to win Michigan is if the Democrats come out and do what they did like they did with Tudor Dixon in 2022. That's it. The people that's going to vote for her in this state are not Nikki Haley supporters. Okay, these are going to be Democrats. Okay, just keep that in mind. If Nikki Haley went, wins in the primary in this state. That's my thought. That's my rant for today. Raging Rob, I'm out. Going to Pennsylvania Wednesday for a rally on Thursday. Basically, a farmer was illegally, an Amish farmer was illegally arrested for, unconstitutionally arrested for selling milk. So, I'll go into details later, but anyway, I'm out.